Hello everybody, I am Mohammed Zidan and welcome to a new lecture in the Electrical Practical Installations course. Today we will see together how to install and bend practically EMT conduits on site. I divided the explanation into three parts. In the first part, I will talk about the tools required to complete the work, while in the second part, I will talk about the materials required during the installation process. And in the third part, we will watch together practical videos for the installation on site. First of all, you need to know that EMT means metallic electrical tubing. We usually use these pipes above the false ceiling or inside the gypsum wall partitions. Secondly, we can use these conduits with different electrical and low current systems. Thirdly, to install these conduits, we need to have some hand and power tools to correctly perform the job. We can summarize the list of these tools as follows. 1. Measuring tape. We'll use it to measure the required length of pipes to be installed with the concrete slab or the wall. 2. Permanent marker. We will use this marker to mark the holes the locations that we need to drill to install the saddles or straps. The main function of the saddles or straps to hold the conduit with the concrete slab or the wall. We will also use this marker to put a mark on the pipe at the required location for bend or cut. For bend or cut. 3. Hacksaw frame with its blade. We will use it to cut the conduit at a specific length as per our requirements on site. 4. File set. After cutting the conduit, we shall remove and clear any sharp edges that exist at the conduit's edge. That's why we will use the file. As the pipe is circular, so, we will usually use either the round file or the half round file. This is to allow removing the sharp edges from inside or outside. 5. EMT Bender We will use it to bend the conduit at a specific angle, either 30 degrees or 45 degrees or 90 degrees per is required in the side. This is based on the size situation and the required angle during the installation. We have multiple types of benders, either to be consisting of a head with a hand, which is the most common one, or it can be with a stand. Also, you can find motorized types, as you can see in this photo, but for sure, it is more costly than the other manual types. That's why, usually in the projects, we will use the manual type, which is hand plus head, because the AMT conduits material is not as hard as RGS conduits. 6. Hammer drill machine. We will need it to drill the locations of the holes required either in the concrete slab, beams, or in the, in the walls. This is to allow installing the saddle or straps that will catch or hold the conduit with the structural items. Also, we will use it to drill the locations of the holes required for the fissure, which will fix the GI boxes with the slab or the wall. 7. Drill bit. It will be inserted into the hammer drill machine to drill the holes. Its size and type will be decided based on fissure's size and the type of the surface which we require to drill. 8. Hammer We will use it to push the fissure inside its hole, which we made using the hammer drill. This is to assure the fissure is inserted completely inside its hole. 9. Screwdriver We will use it to fix the screw with the, to fix the, screw with the fissure. 
and we can use either the flat type screwdriver or the Phillips type but usually we will use the Phillips type 10. Scaffolding or ladder The electrician needs to use them to get access to the work location at a high level The safest one is using steel scaffolding with wheels, brakes and side bars but the issue is due to its big dimensions so it needs wide free space to be erected that's why we'll go to the aluminum scaffolding due to its lightweight ease to be erected and moving but still in some congested places we can't use the scaffolding so we will go to the final option the ladder has two types the straight one or the double side also we are calling the second type a type ladder the straight one we can use only during working on a wall while the a type will be used in different situations and locations both of these two types of ladders their height will be depending on the number of the ladder's steps and usually will be fabricated from aluminium but you shall know that in many high quality projects the health and safety team will not allow using ladder due to the high risk of falling during work and in case they agreed they will instruct the technicians to use a safety harness which will be held in a fixed item like a pipe to carry the technicians in case of falling falling 11. Split level. We'll use it to check the proper alignment of the conduit, especially for the vertical installations on the walls. The longer the split levels to be used, the more accurate results you will get while checking. 12. Spray paint. After the completion of the AMT installation and its boxes, we need to identify the conduits and their boxes are related to which system either lighting or power or fire alarm system and so on that's why we will use a spray paint with a specific color to a specific system usually we will use the red color for identifying the fire alarm system or you will use the color as per the approval from the consultant in your project. Also, in some projects, they will instruct to install labels or tags on the conduits and boxes to identify these installations are related to which system. In the end, this is depending on the specifications of the project. In the coming videos in the course, I will explain the different materials to be used during the installation plus we'll see practically how the electrician is bending the AMT conduit and fix the conduits in the slab and wall. Thank you.